and the Bucs. They're going to try to avoid going down 3-0 tonight against the Nets. The Nets are going to be without James Harden for the second straight game as he suffered a right hamstring injury just 43 seconds into the Nets' Game 1 victory. But the Nets had no issues without him. KD, Kyrie have combined for an average of 54 points a game in the Nets' two wins, including a 39-point win in Game 2, the largest in Nets' playoff history. And here's the thing. If the Bucs want any chance to get back into this series, they're going to need a whole lot more from Giannis Attentacumpo. He had just 18 points in the Game 2 loss on Monday, and that, as we have seen, is not enough. Now, Caesars' William Hill has the Bucs as a slight favorite at minus 160 to take the first game in their series against the Nets. Now, ESPN's VPI also gives Milwaukee a 55% chance to win tonight. By the way, you can catch the matchup 7.30 Eastern on ESPN. And look who's here. What's up, guys? Jay Will, here to talk some Nets Bucks. Do they need a lot more from Giannis? Because in the first game, Giannis had like 34 and 16. Well, I think they need a better defensive effort in general and okay. how they defend Kyrie and KD. Look, if, if I'm going to sit here realistically, Ryan, and tell you, are the Nets a 39-point team better than the Milwaukee Bucks? Like, no, that's not the case. Like, yeah, I think they got hot. I think KD is playing out of his mind. He's proving that he is the best player in the world. Kyrie is dynamic. But with just KD and Kyrie, they're not a 39-point better team than the Bucs. I think the Bucs need a wake-up call, and I think it starts on the defensive end. And they also need Chris Middleton to not be subpar. They need him to be what he's been throughout the course of the season. If they can get that in a better defensive performance, then this will be a series. But still, Giannis is a key component of all this. I so, agree. so here's my thing that I was thinking of this morning: Is he going to play tonight like an MVP? And if he does, is that enough? Well, no, it's not going to be enough because Giannis can't do it from the perimeter all the time. I think where you need him to be an MVP is he helps by actually having guys like Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton knock down shots on the outside, that opens up the lane for him. And they should be dominating the paint. That's what Brooke Lopez and him should be doing. Now, you question whether Coach Budenhauser can actually have Brooke Lopez in the game. Do they need to match up smaller, maybe with Giannis at the five, make those in-game adjustments that make them better defensively, more versatile. But look, if they're making shots, Giannis is going to dominate. But what you do want to see him do is that matchup with Kevin Durant. And we heard a lot of our analysts talk about it, taking on that matchup. Look, reigning defensive player of the year. That's something at the end of the day, you got to go out there and you got to make those stops yourself as well. Yeah, and Big Perk talked about it in the last hour the idea that he's got to be more aggressive when KD's doing what he's doing. So then I turn it to the Nets. I, I just, I, I, they are so dominant right now. I wonder what is stopping them at this point from making it to the East, to, to the finals. Well, nothing stopped them yet. Yeah, I mean, they haven't really faced. Well, what can stop them going forward? I, I, I think maybe just them having a cold spell or if you take one of those guys out of the equation. I mean, look, the reality is Blake Griffin's been playing out of his mind. You know, Joe Harris has been making shots from the outside. Mike James coming off the bench for double-digit points, right? Um, I, I think if you're able to take out a Kyrie or a KD, then that makes them a one-dimensional team without having James Harden. Now, look, they're playing with house money right now. Right, they're up 2-0. All I'm thinking about is, hey, we're going to try to win every single game. But if you still won in Milwaukee, you come back home up 3-1 to close it out. So they're in the driver's seat. But I think you have to try to cut off either Kyrie or KD and make him a one-man show. Okay, and we don't know what's going to happen with Harden in this series. But I have to say, if Harden doesn't come back and they win at this point and they win this series, is there anything in your mind stopping them from winning at all? I, I've had Brooklyn to win it all, even if other teams were healthy. Hmm. I mean, I, I thought we were going to see Brooklyn and the Los Angeles Lakers, full teams healthy in the NBA Finals. I think with James Harden, they are that talented. Now, the question is, can they win it without James Harden and just KD and Kyrie? Yes. Hmm. You still have two top ten players in the league. And I said this when the trio got formed. I've never seen a trio, and I know we've seen Clay, we've seen Steph, and we've seen KD together, but the continuity of their system in which they play, Draymond Green has talked about this multiple times, is just so much different because both those guys and, and Clay and uh, Steph don't need the ball. Yep. With Kyrie and James and KD, with the way they can all dazzle, razzle, dazzle with the ball, with how they play and how they move, defensively they're playing at that level. We haven't seen anything like this. You know, what I think is so interesting about them is when the playoffs started, we all doubted, you know, hey, they haven't played much together. Who's How's we all? going to work out? Who's we all? Well, I did. You did People question, though, I did not. 
Not with I, the talent on, on this team, but not with the way they play. To see them play now, it's as if they've been playing together for years, which I think is just a testament to their greatness. I'm holding to it, though. Like, I, I don't think this, this series is going to be a breeze. Okay. Like, if they win tonight by 20, then, like, I'll take my hat off to them. Like, wow. I just don't – I still think this series is going to be a dogfight. I think the Bucks are going to respond. Okay, we shall see what happens. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.